Okay, so this is a test of this waterproof safety power bar. Right now, it's plugged into the wall. 120 volts, you can kind of see a red light on. Yeah, there's the red light. This is a multimeter. This and this. DC. Nothing going on, really. I'll do that with all of them quickly. AC, DC. To give you some perspective, I'll plug it into a working power socket. This is a power socket that's working. So 120 volts out of a normal power socket, okay? Back to here. The decimals at the very start. So red light is on. Fan. Okay. And the fan works. So. So keep the fan running. Paper clip. When you're a little kid and you're gonna do this. I'm going to shove this into the socket. Fan's running, it's plugged up to here. Power's on and, and, and nothing, right? You see? Okay. Again, still have full power. Because there's no power until it's all engaged, so that it's waterproof. I'm gonna take this glass of water and just pour the water on it, right, right into the holes. Look at that. The water here. All right, the fan's still working. So that's another good safety feature. Now we do have the ultimate test, though. This bucket of water. Get nervous. All right. So our next thing we're going to do, I'm gonna unplug this. Actually, I just got a big shock. Just got a very, very big shock. I'm touching the water. So all this water is live, I guess. Yeah, not good. So that shocked me all the way up my arm. This is probably not the safest experiment. Now this is the one that I did with my friend. And it just scared the heck out of us. What do you think of this? Not too smart, is it? And I'm going to put on some rubber shoes. Okay. Let's plug into the wall. The red light is on underwater, so it has power. So the next step is I want to see if... Well, I know this is going to be dumb, but I've done this before, so I know it's fine. If I put my hand in the water, I can feel it tingling a bit. You can feel um, tingles, pins and needles. It's a bit higher, 20.8. For some reason when it's in the water it's getting a lot more current. 39, 40. This one's saying 34, saying 47, 48. I'm going to unplug everything. From the source so there's nothing, no power at all. And I'm going to Plug the fan in, just put it into the first one. Okay. Three, two, one, in. Fan's on, nothing blew up, the circuit didn't go. And the light's on. The last part, I don't want to do this again. I did this last time and it really hurt me. Because of the video that I watched, you reach in, and if you unplug it and plug it back in. And I, th even if I do this, I'm kind of scared. And what I was hoping would happen is, you just reach in and you plug it in, right like this in the water. But if I do that, I get a massive shock. Well, I get 120 volts shooting up my arm. So I'm not going to do it again. But that's how this power bar works, so it has some good features. Just imagine this is halfway in and connects. Everything is engaged. Then the top of the metal is still sticking out, so fully exposed to connect with the water. So that's that.